me, but here I'm just going to go through it again. So, ladies and gentlemen, so far in this class, we've gone over and reviewed f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. All right? So far, we've gone and reviewed that. Now, that's what we call our standard form. And then here's what we're going to be calling now the vertex form. All right? So in looking at the vertex form, the reason why we call it vertex form is because of a very, very important reason. And here's exactly the reason here. The vertex of an equation like this, when it's in this form, is h comma k. OK? Remember trying to find the vertex over here? What did you have to do? You had to do opposite of b divided by 2a, right? And then plug that value in. That was on that test that some of you still need to keep going, right? Take that in. But here, if we can write it into this format, the vertex is just h and k. So let's go and look at this problem right here, because what it says is write this first in standard form. I'm sorry, write it first in vertex form, and then determine what h and k are. So is this already in this form? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's k then? Zero. Zero. Well, our a is equal to negative 3. Our h is equal to negative 5. And our k is equal to 0. OK. So remember, it's x opposite of h. So you see how it's going to be the same? OK. Yeah. So you guys can see how we have this. So now, since we know h and k, do we know what the vertex is? Yeah. yeah. So for this problem on your homework, you can just say negative 5, 0. Done. Robert, what's the 